In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated mobile display with circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have made this mobile display completely in PowerPoint and then I have made a gradient background uh, with uh, the light and the dark blue color combination. So how it works is when I click, you can see here the shadow comes and then the title and then the, the light beam comes out of it and then you can see all different options animated here you can see here so you can just add the icons with a different color combination and you can add the detailed text so depending on your requirement you can just increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do it and if you're using some older version of powerpoint maybe the icons will not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill in this case i have used four different colors you can see here i have just used a color combination of blue and the type i have selected as, as uh, linear and uh, direction I have selected which is uh, this one now I'm just going to draw the mobile phone for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangles so depending on your requirement you can adjust the size maybe I'm going to take this much and I'm going to make it less curved by reducing this one or dragging this orange pound outside you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose some dark color or more darker whichever color which you feel you can just add it maybe this dark color i'm going to choose and now i'm going to give a 3d look for this so under shape options you can go to the effects you can see here and there is something called at the bottom scroll it down so you can see here 3d rotation so 3d rotation go to presets and from the perspective i'm going to choose this one perspective relaxed moderately just click on this one and then you have got uh, different rotations x y z and perspective you can see here so for example if i use like this it will turn like this okay and if I just use the Y rotation, you can see here it is going up and down. So I'm just going to make it more, you can see here, something like this. All right. And the Z rotation goes something like this, which I don't want to do. And the perspective, if you want more deeper perspective, you can just play with this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a, a, a depth for that. Go to 3D format scroll it down you can see there's a depth so i'm just going to increase the depth you can see here so how much depth you need for your mobile phone maybe this is okay if you want to reduce you can reduce also so uh one uh, this is a basic design we have done now what you can do is you can just use this lighting you can see here this lighting also we can just uh, change the way we want so anyway let me just uh, select this one which is the special and a two point then i want to add a few more uh, layers of the mobile like screen everything so for that i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and for this i'm going to make it more dark color and here the depth i'm going to make it zero no depth at all okay and then what i can do is i can hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit you can see here all right and for this i forgot to add one thing so for this you can just give some uh, top bevel also you can see here it comes a curve something like this okay now coming back to this one i'm just going to place it exactly on top of this you can see here how it got placed now on top of this i'm going to place the screen the white screen press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm going to make it white and again hold the shift key reduce the size further and then just put it on top of this you can see here so we have placed the screen also on top of this now with this uh, we have uh, completed the basic design of the 
mobile and if you want to give some shadow or if you want to adjust it properly for example let me just select all press ctrl g to group it and then i'm just saying align center it is center so let me just drag it down and then i can just if you want you can just ungroup also or it's up to you whether you want to group it you can just keep it group also not a problem then i want to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and then i'm going to increase the transparency level go to the effects you can see here the soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then right mouse click edit points and then just drag this inside you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to place it here make it somewhat down and then send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect also has been created now it's time to add the the oval shapes or the circles and the, the light which is coming out from the mobile phone now i'm going to add the light beam which is coming out from the screen for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this trapezoid draw this trapezoid you can see here something like this and this one i want to bring it the upside down for that go to rotate you can see here i'm going to make it flip vertical so this point has come here i'm going to place it here exactly on this screen you can see here increase the size all right and then you can just play with this also okay so let it be like this and then what i'm going to do is shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and then i'm going to give a gradient fill for the gradient fill i'm going to delete this the old stops which we have used the first stop i'm going to make it as a white color the other one i can use the eyedropper or i can just choose white also so let me just use the white dropper and then here if you want you can just change the direction you can see here i want the white to be at the bottom so i'm just going to select this and here this blue select the transparency transparency sorry transparency to zero you can see here and then if you want to make it more wider right mouse click edit point and then you can just increase the width of this you can see here something like this if you want to increase the height also you can increase the height so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it so you can see here i have just added this one now if you want if you want to add a few smaller beams also you can do it press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size you can see here you can just reduce it all right again i'm just going to place it here all right and this one i'm going to choose maybe white color and make it transparency again to zero right mouse click edit point i can just reduce the size here and then i can just adjust it the way i want you can see here something like this all right and this also you can give the soft edges also for this you can see here i'm just going to give the soft edges all right so it looks something like this and for this i can just make it let me just go here and for this if i want i can just reduce this one here so it looks something like this so like this i can just press ctrl d and add it again right mouse click edit point depending on my requirement i can just adjust it you can see here something like this so i can just add as i want or i can just reduce this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and again i'm going to put it here right mouse click edit point i'm just going to increase it something like this you can see here all right so depending on your requirement you can just adjust this one so let me just adjust something like this all right now once we have done this one now it's time to add the shapes you can add any shape as you want for that i'm going to use the oval shape 
select the oval shape hold the shift key so this is one bigger i want to use it shape outline make it no outline shape fill any color of your choice you can choose so i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d and reduce the size again so depending on the requirement you can just increase or decrease the size you can see here again i'm going to duplicate this maybe a smaller one i'm going to put it here ctrl d one i'm going to put it some bigger here you can see here ctrl d again duplicate make it some smaller you can see here some smaller one i'm just going to make it and later on we can just change the color depending on our requirement you can see here i'm just going to add it here it doesn't matter if it is overlapping also let me just add some uh, something here you can see here again control d so you can see here and then i can just add few more smaller here and there just for the beautification purpose you can see uh, something like this now i'm just going to choose uh, each one and then i'm just going to fill the color with some color of your choice whichever color which you feel better you can see here uh, let me just put some different color combinations all right and then maybe i'm just going to choose maybe yellow for this and for this i can choose some white so depending on your requirement you can just choose any color of your choice you can see here all right so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add some icons and the text so if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can add the icons if you don't have the icons uh, i have provided a free icon uh, template you can just download and use it also so let me just randomly just select a few icons okay so i'm just choosing some random icons here you can see here maybe nine or ten icons i will choose just move it aside and i'm going to use the height and width as 0.5 and the color i'm going to choose white and then for each icon i'm just going to place it here at the top of the rectangle the oval shape you can see here add one by one if the icons are more we can just delete also all right so let me just delete this and depending on your requirement you can just increase the size also you can see here something like this individually you can just increase the size let me just increase for this also and then bottom you can just add the text so go to insert text box i'm just going to say add detail text here again white font reduce the size center align and then i'm just going to add it here you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and add for each option all right now once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these three press ctrl g to group it you can see here i'm just holding the shift key and group it okay or if you want you can just make something like this also whichever way you feel better you can just group it so let me just increase the size here and group it i hope i have grouped all the shapes all right now if you want to add some text here uh, at the screen you can add it if you want to add something on the top you can add it so depending on your requirement you can do it now once it has all your animal uh, design has been done it's time to add the animation effect to add the animation let me just close the properties go to the animations enable the animation pane the first thing i want to 
uh, do the animation for the shadow effect for that i'm going to use the fade effect okay and once this is done i want to animate this part the light effect okay so for this i'm going to use the wipe you can see here and this should happen after previous or if you want you can just group this also instead of doing one by one let me just group this okay press ctrl g to group it because the moment you group it the animation will go again i'm going to add the wipe animation you can see here and this should happen after previous so it comes something like this all right so we have to just make sure that all the objects has been selected now once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all of this by holding the shift key you can see here i'm not going to uh, skip any of this okay and then add animation you can use any animation for example you can go to the more entrance effects you can see here if you want you can just make it float up also it comes something like this and click okay all right and now select all this right mouse click effect options you can see here the timings i'm going to make it very fast maybe point 0 0.3 seconds all right and then what happens here is this one it has to be after previous and this i'm just going to randomly i'm going to just increase the size okay so some are fast some are slow you can see here i'm just selecting one by one i'm just delaying depending on my requirement all right so you can see here maybe this one will go further this will be something here all right so depending on my requirement i can just adjust it let me just increase further now let me just play when i click it comes and then you can see here this is how the slide works so you can just add the title or detailed text something like this